Hello guys, today I want to show you a new free add-on for Blender Texture Baking, it is called JBake Tools. Here you can see a stylized tree stump that are sculpted with Blender 2.90. When you have a look at the stats, it has about 670,000 triangles. So this is the high poly mesh and we are going to bake the high poly details onto this low poly mesh. I did a manual retopo of the sculpt, added some UV seams and then I unwrapped it so we can bake onto this low poly mesh. But this time I will use my new JBag Tools add-on to simplify the baking process for the normal map. You see it here in the preferences when you go to the add-ons tab. And it is a very early version, 0.2.2. I started a few days ago. Another add-on that I activated and that is deployed with Blender is Node Arrange. For this process it's optional, but I'll come back to this in a moment. Ok, so let's get started and press the N key to see the JBake panel. And here we can define the high and the low poly mesh for baking. First I select the low poly tree and then the high poly version. Then you can define the options, for instance the size of the image of the normal map that you are going to bake. And basically we could already press the bake button to bake the map. But I want to show you what happens in the background. So let's open the shader editor to see the low poly material, which has a principal shader, the default shader that has to be attached so that the baking works. And I also open another window with an image editor so that we can see the baked normal map. At the moment the add-on is just for baking normal maps, but it will be extended. For instance for curvature maps. Ok, that's it, everything is set up and we can just press the bake button to bake the maps. I hide the high poly mesh so that we can directly see the normal map on the low poly mesh after it is baked. Ok, that's it, we see the normal map here in the image editor. And in the shader editor, a normal map node and an image texture for the normal map is created as well. So no effort here, everything is done for you and now I'll show you why I activated the node arrange add-on. Because you can just press this button to arrange the nodes in the shader editor. It's nice, but optional. Ok, but now you want to see the normal map on the low poly mesh. So I go to the look dev mode and here are some artifacts. This can happen when the retopo, the low poly mesh, doesn't line up too good with the high poly. But then you can use the extrusion, like I do this here. I increase it to let's say 40 millimeters and bake again. And now we have a pretty good bake of the stylized tree stump. Of course you can change now the color or the roughness. But it will look really nice when we are going to paint this. By the way, I decided to give this tree stump for free to my members. But after having the textures painted. Again, I can switch to edit mode so that you can see this is the low poly mesh, not the high poly. And as I said, this is the first version of this free add-on JBake tools that you can get here from my GitHub page. Just press the green button to download the zip, but I also added an installation instruction. If you have any feature wishes or bugs or questions, then add these here as issues to the GitHub. What I also want to mention is my Instagram account. If you like small example videos and renders, then go ahead and follow me. The link is added to the description below. Alright guys, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. Consider to join as a member or to become a patron, this would really help. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one here on JNM.